Here I am, one of the last pitches of the witch's tit. Been a long day, we got about two. It's probably getting close to seven or eight. Here comes John. I would say it's difficult. It's a difficult route. I was afraid of people saying, matter of fact, I've had people say that, you know, you're never gonna be like your father. It's tough for him to be uh, following in these shoes. I wouldn't want it. I would have picked another sport. <laughs> but they grow up in that environment and they suddenly become climbers. I love what I do. This is what I want to do with my free time anytime I get a chance. My pops is a legend in the climbing world. He's been on climbing expeditions with Sir Edmund Hillary, Jeff Lowe. He's done awesome ascents, including part of the first American expedition to climb K2. That was my dad's little built-in partner. I think he had me just in time to tag along on some of these trips. I got drugged to Pakistan when I was one and got chicken pox. <laughs> I remember dad saying, hey, do you want to go do this with me? And I was like, all right, yeah, I'll go. It just didn't occur to me how cool these things were because I had always been involved with them. But I just went along with it and I didn't really even pay attention to where I was going. He knew everything. All throughout his early life, he didn't really do much climbing. I would take him up a peak or two a year, but usually he selected his own sports and, and uh, I went ahead and followed along, along with it. I took Jess into the outdoors at every opportunity from the time he was born. But when he turned 18, he started guiding clients up Mount Rainier. In 2003, I asked Jess if he wanted to go to Everest. His life changed from that point on. I think my first climb, where I took control and where I made my own decisions, was probably when I was 20 on Mount Everest. Of course, it was the greatest thing in the world for him at the time, and boy, that was the number one thing that he wanted to do. I remember thinking, wow, you know, all my buddies are gonna be really annoyed that I get to go do this because my dad is who is John Roskelly, you know? And I made this vow in my head at the time. I was like, I will not fail on this. I don't care what it takes. I am not gonna fail on this thing. We summited Mount Everest together, and that was the turning point for Jess. Climbing was no longer just a mild interest. It became a passion. And of course, passion is what creates success. Okay, I'm about ready. Get your shit together. Let's go. I think ice climbing was the first real love of climbing that I had. I remember my dad taking me and giving me an old pair of Chouinards and going ice climbing for the first time. And I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Climbing is a big thing in his life. And when I was young, I needed that fix. Go out and do the hardest climb, and newest style. And I see that in Jess a little bit now. He's always the guy that I looked up to most. He was always my mentor for sure. I'm trying to do different things than my father did. I, I think I've picked a different niche. Really what I live for is that three or four times a year that I go out and get something really cool done in an alpine scenario. Taking a really nice looking mixed you know, ice and rock line, and putting everything I have into that and seeing if I can get it done. That's where, that's where the, the fun is for me. <laughs>